Imaging is used both to establish the amount of disease a patient has and where the disease is, and then in the way the field has evolved and developed, it's, it's the key to assessing response. Now, the risk of scanning too much are the exposure to radiation therapy. It's an extremely complicated area, which I think in many ways the data is still evolving. Of interest, uh, lymphoma is a very radiosensitive disease, and so uh, there, are, there is a concern in tumors across the, the board of there being a, a, a higher risk of other malignancies. In the low-grade lymphomas, I think it's very difficult in, because those diseases, especially follicular lymphoma, the second most kind of lymphoma, it is very difficult to assess abdominal and pelvic disease. And so if there is significant disease, you could end up with obstruction uh, of the connection of the kidney to the bladder, uh, the ureter and that can cause very significant problems. In addition, patients cannot be symptomatic yet have very significant disease. So at a minimum to CT scan someone that we're following with low-grade lymphomas that had disease that presented in, in, in a pattern of lymph nodes, uh, it's very reasonable to do a CT scan every one to two years. Scanning is very important in the initial diagnosis and establishing where we are. I think it's very important in the aggressive lymphomas to establish response. And PET scanning has really helped us there. I think PET scanning can also be of benefit in low-grade lymphoproliferative disorders to identify where the disease is and just as, or more importantly, to demonstrate that their findings are not consistent with the transformation to a higher grade, more aggressive lymphoma, such as diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. I'm of the belief that the benefits outweigh the risks. But I'm also of the belief that we have been doing too much follow-up scanning, for instance, in diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. And so if, if utilized uh, in, in, in appropriately, I, I think that scanning is extremely important until we find other markers that we can follow patients and, and assess their initial amount of disease and then to assess complete remission. Someday we may not have scans in different lymphomas.